Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, will you look at this? These are the colors of fall. I'll tell you that. When you come out here and you see these colors out here, you know that around this time of the year, the weather is getting a tad colder. Fall is here. Winter is coming. Uh, let me tell you all something. Let me show you a little something. It is around this time of the year that sometimes all I need is this setup right over here to catch some fish. Some Euro Tackle Jig Hands, my signature EPF Swim, and there you go, a weighted float. I'm a simple man, you know what I'm saying? With simple objectives, right? For the title of this video, I don't need to tell you what we're going to be doing today. Here, man, I already got the setup all ready to go. Look at this. One tiny little EPF swim under the weight of float with the leader. We're going to be doing some suspended jigging. You see, this road right over here actually leads to a little spillway back there, right? That is a part of a creek and reservoir system. So you know what? Let's waste no more time for the EPF comeback video. Let's start walking over there and I'll meet you all at the spillway. All right, quick walk to the fishing spot. Man, whew, it smells, it smells really bad out here, dang. I haven't really been here in a little while, but this smell right here kind of feels like there's some fish like rotting down there or something. Well, I'm glad to see that let me check real quick. I saw some cars in the parking lot, but oh yeah, nobody is fishing here today. That's good. We have the spot all to ourselves. Just got to be careful over here, right? Leaves, man. You can't really see the ground. Got to be careful with the rocks and everything. Well, okay. It is kind of smelling like crap out here. Not gonna lie. Kind of feels like you know, it smells like dead fish. I haven't really been here in a little while, but I mean, it's not looking that bad, right? Okay, let's do our first cast of the day and uh, and see what happens. All right, man, haven't been here in a few in a few months, but who we just hit the wall on the first cast? That's nice. Got all that pent up energy, you know. <laughs> Oh, got a hit, got a bite on the first on our first cast too, right there along the wall. Oh yeah, I think it's going to be a productive day today over here at the spillway. Nobody around to bother us too. I just need to set. I just need to set this float because the water is a, bit, a little bit lower than usual. I need to set this float just a little little more down last liter over here right so that my bait is suspending just a little bit higher in the water column as you folks can see right look all that grass junk down there got on my jig this thing was a little bit too down there wow been casting out here for the last 10 minutes not a single additional bite other than that initial bite right there i'm not gonna lie this is pretty devastating having been here in a little while so i thought let's come here check the place out catch some nice fish right now the place is great we checked it out the fall colors are beautiful. Ooh, that was a hit right there. But that's probably a little bluegill or something. That's, that's not what we're looking for, man. That is not what we're looking for. Yeah, all right. When this kind of stuff happens, let, let me tell you all, you, you just got to hit it deep. You feel me? That That's how it is, man. When you don't get that, that good bite right there, you just got to make sure... Ah, that you go deeper and in order to go deeper you know yeah i just moved over here you got a nicer angle you're gonna change the angle you see that so that you can go deeper 
Listen to your boy PF. He's gonna, this, this tip is gonna take you places. Watch me catch a fish here soon. Yeah, boy. Whoa, was that a bite? Oh, that's a hit, boy. That's a hit. You see that, dude? What did I tell you, bro? You go deeper. This is what happens. Well, it's not really the species that we're looking for, but after four months of no video on the YouTube channel, right? I'm just gonna do a quick unhook here. We got a little bluegill, lepomis, macrocutus, okay? There you go, look at that. You see that, dude? Catch and release, baby. Catch and release. Oh, that may be what are we looking for. Let's see. Oh no, that was a little bass. No, 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 no. Ah, so hard to find them nowadays. Hmm. Man, little bluegill tried to get my float. I think that about sums it up what is going on right here I'll tell you all I haven't really been to this particular fishing spot for over a year now but caught a few bluegill here and there this morning but I don't know if you ask me I think it is about time to make a little move you feel me because if the species that we are targeting is actually down there let me tell you all something it is not willing to bite, all right? I'll tell you that much. There may be a few down there that may be not. I've been here for about 25 minutes. Biggest bluegill was less than the size of my hand. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna make a move now, either go downstream or to the reservoir upstream because my chances of catching our target species per the title of this video is going to be higher over there <laughs> i'll tell you what now i'm kind of feeling like i definitely should have gone to lake luxembourg and because i know that if i was on my local lake luxembourg i would have caught a little sucker by now <sighs> there are so many of them over there at the main lake and everyone knows that it's like mostly catch and release around there because of water contamination, right? They no longer even stock Core Creek nowadays or the Neshamini system with trout because of the, uh, you know, the uh, stuff that they found in the water. I'm gonna link the older video so you folks can go there and watch it so you understand what is going on around here. Yeah, all right, we are at the top off the hill let's see how's the other side looking boy i mean it's not looking bad it's looking saturated that's for sure so that's where we were fishing a little spillway that comes out of the big reservoir i'm gonna start walking around down there to give a few casts on the right side and the left man Left side was definitely whack. We're going to try the right side now. But this is this is not looking good, folks. This is not looking good. Man, I hit two holes today already. I mean still with nada, man. Zero out of two. Mind you, I'm only hitting three holes today, you know? That's that's my limit for today, so. Dang, son, what has happened to this place? I haven't been here in a little while, that is true, you know, maybe a year, maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more. But I used to come here and easily the crappie. Nowadays, all I see is tiny bluegill this big. What has happened to this place? I'll tell you all what, if anyone brought fishing press from here, here for recently, wasn't me. I haven't been on social media for over four months. Probably fish brain. <laughs> alright, 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 let's, let's drop it in. 
I don't know. Let, let, let's go hit the last hole of the day and see what happens. Cause it's, it is dead out here, man. It's just, it's just dead. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know about you all, but I have had it. You feel me, man? I've had it. This is it, man. Let me tell you, this is it. When I'm hitting, man, two holes and nothing happens, bro. You know what I'm saying, man? It's time to drop the axe, man, and hit the third and final hole. The juiciest hole, man. That's what we're doing right now. You see what I'm doing right over here? You see what I'm doing out here, man? I'm taking out my bait bucket. That's what I'm doing. That's right. This is the amount of confidence that I actually have in this place in comparison to the previous two. Now, you see, I can't really guarantee the sizes or anything like that. But for the past few years, I will tell you this to you, you know. This is the kind of hole that when you hit it, man, good things happen. You feel me? I'm going to get some water over here, get myself situated. And, man, I ain't playing no more. We're going after that white crappie like it owes us money. Dang right, bro. I ain't playing no more, bro. Come over here. It is pretty shallow, but I think we'll be able to get some water. I just need a little bit, you know, so that when I catch that crappie, I can put it inside my bucket. Yeah, 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 no, that's good. That's good enough. Look at that. Perfect, you know? So that when we catch that fish, kapow, man, we just put it in here real quick, you know? So we can take some good photos, wet our hands too, you know? Man, that's it, bro. This is, this is it. This is the, this is the moment of the truth. Let's do it. I'm not even going to cut the footage, you know? I'm just going to cast it out there and see what happens. That used to be the golden spot that where I always found some little white crappie laying around. So who knows? Maybe, maybe we're going to find some today. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh! Did you see that boy? Did you see that boy? That was the first cast we came here, boy. That's right. I don't know if it was a bluegill or a crappie, but there's something down there. Okay, <laughs> a little bit too to the right, but no harm there. No harm there. You see that? That's a crappie boy. I'm pretty positive that's a crappie. That may be the one that we're looking for. Told you all, man. This is the juice. This is the... This is the... It's a bass. It's not a crappie. It's a bass, dude. A large mouth bass, of course, it's a large mouth bass, boy. Why, of course, it's a little bass, bro. Why is that bass? Why look for a good big bass, bro. Look at the size of the little creature, too, man. You really can't make that up, bro. <laughs> go down there and go call your blue cousin, man. I'm telling you, though, there's a crappie down there. There's a crappie down there. Little bass, huh? Little bass. Of course, it's a little bass, man always on my way when I went to catch the oh my look what 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 is that bro thank bro that's the most aggressive crappie at this point you're just messing with me man no for real bro this place is really messing with me right now man this is not a crappie this is a white perch what the what is a white perch even doing here man the Morone Americana, you know? What is this? I come here, <laughs> I come here with one target species in mind, you know? One little white crappie, Pomoxis annularis, EPF swim, and everything is working great. I mean, we, we came here and they're biting, but it, it, it's just not the right one. This is a little white perch. Little white perch. Oh, this ain't over yet, boy. I'm telling you, this ain't over. It ain't over until I say it's over. All the way back there, boy. Back to lesson number one. Go deep, son. That's right. When things don't work, you gotta go deep, boy. Go deep. 
change holes and when two holes don't work man you just got to change to other holes out there I mean we did catch one bass and one perch over here so I'm not complaining but I'm not gonna lie I am a little bit desperate I am a little bit desperate I've been out here for about 90 minutes now hit all three holes that I wanted to hit and I still haven't caught my target species about to start casting spells over here man you know going to the supernatural man to make this fish show up you know Belkalis, Marlenis, Almanzar, Servus. <laughs> See if this fish show up, you know? Dang, boy. Having been here for like a little bit less or a little bit over a year, things have changed so much. Yeah, I just got his neck. That's great. Back in the days, I used to come here, this precise spot. Man, you cast down there. Tons of them, no? Hordes. You ever play Heroes of Might and Magic? Hordes. You feel me? The little guys, like a union, all together fighting. Now you come over here, man. Só a burguesia aqui, né, rapaz? Né, rapaziada? Os bass, né? Black bass. <laughs> Legit ready to give up, man. Lord just sent me a little ray of hope over here, so I'm gonna give it another five minutes, but I'm about to give up. Oh no, bro. It bit while I was reeling it in. You really can't make that up. And the bass, too. You really can't make that up, man. I was just reeling my stuff in, you know? Ready to give another cast for the crappie, right? Look at that. Another largemouth bass, Micropterus salmoides. So, I mean, I can't really complain too much because this last hole that, you know, we're hitting out here is producing some fish. But on the other hand, you know, it is not really producing the one species that I really want to catch, right? That was our biggest fish of the day. And I mean, for a fall day can't really complain you know can't really complain i think that we learned a lot of good things from this video today right make sure that you always hit deep if you are not getting any reactions out there when that doesn't work change around change holes you know and uh never give up i guess at the end of the day all right, I promise y'all that before the end of the year, I am going to eventually catch a white crappie for the 2023 Species Marathon. I just really need to go to Lake Luxembourg one of these days and we're going to catch one whoop, real fast, right? I'm going to finish this video by saying, because I really run out of time, I'm going to finish this video by saying that I am going to start bringing consistent uploads on the YouTube channel again around Thanksgiving okay so mid-november i will be going to brazil next week okay to spend some time with my family and eat a lot of food and get a little bit fatter right gain a lot of pounds recently i'm living the good life <laughs> and hopefully do some life listing as well so if you want to see the, that adventure okay it is going to be strictly on my instagram okay via my personal uh daily life stories uh, make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube monthly membership, okay? Everyone's been complaining that the prices of everything uh, is going up nowadays. Guess what? I decided to downgrade my prices, all right? Because everyone's been complaining about inflation. And I feel your pain, man, you know? Go out there. I don't want to party like it's 1999, man. I want to do some grocery shopping like it is 1999, you feel me? So it is $2.99 a month nowadays, okay? Go out there subscribe to the youtube monthly membership request to be added on my instagram account and you'll be able to see every day what i'm doing down in brazil we're currently at 502 different species of fish on my life list hopefully that number is going to increase a little bit more right i think this is it for today i'm sorry that i haven't really been on the platform for so long 
but no regrets, man. I've been spending some wonderful time with my parents here in the United States of America, okay? You can see the highlights of all the different species that I've caught this year, more than 270 on my main page on Instagram at Extreme Philly Fishing, all right? Till then, see you all next time. Thigh lines and take it easy.